40,000 years ago, the first ever instrument was made that we know of, and that was made out of bones of a bird, um, and it kind of acted like a flute or recorder of today, and it was found in southern Germany in an archaeological site. Um, so today, to show you kind of how instruments were made, I will be making an instrument, but not out of bird bones. I will be using garden vegetables. <laughs> Um, these instruments are really fun to make. It can be really difficult at times, so we'll see how it goes. Um, and to teach you here today, I've done hours of extensive research and practice. And I did a few years of recorder in elementary school. So I hope to use that knowledge here today. Um, and I'll be showing you that with a little bit of practice and some hard work, you can create instruments out of your garden. So first we'll gather all of our supplies. Um, so to make the bodies of the instrument, we will use carrots. So you're gonna want some big carrots for the body. I brought two just in case. Oh, now we didn't have enough, but it's okay. Um, then you're gonna need lots of baby carrots, just in case, because you're gonna need to find one the right size. We'll talk about that later. So that's for the instrument itself. Um, and then you'll want some tools to make it. So the tools you'll need will be, um, for sure, you'll need a drill bit. This is a spade bit, which I think helps the best. And that's a half inch. And then I have an eighth inch and a quarter inch, just a regular drill bit. Your, you can use any size drill bit. It doesn't really matter. It's just this is what I found works best for me. You're gonna need a long stick which comes in useful later. I'm using a chopstick. And then you're gonna need a knife, which is probably the most important tool. And then your drill as well. So, now that we have all of our tools, I'll start by making it. So what you'll do is you'll take your big carrot, use this one, and you can wash them first if you want to eat it later. So. I did not wash these ones, but you, you can wash them if you want. So you'll start by cutting the tip off, like the bad end, and I got a bucket here just to throw all the bad stuff in. So it'll just be, just cut the top off so it's a flat surface. Then you're gonna wanna take your drill, okay, and put your spade bit in, that's a quarter of an inch, about half an inch should I say. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that's in there. Once that's in, you're gonna to wanna to take it and just drill a hole through. So you're gonna go all the way as deep as you can. You can drill a hole all the way through, but it's iffy if it works or not. Um, these instruments are really interesting. Um, so I'm drilling just right into the center, and this is when you're gonna to wanna to do it over the hole. The most important part here is you wanna drill straight in, because otherwise it can go through the side. I had that happen once, and you want to make sure your fingers are not in the way. So once I'm in a little bit, then I'm just making sure my fingers are past where the blade is cutting, so you won't be in danger. So I'll just drill here. Here we go. So you just want to go straight in, and you can use any size, like I said. And it helps just to be watching the sides. Um, when it's about to poke through, you can almost kind of see the blade digging in there and getting towards the side. So you just want to make sure that that doesn't happen. And so you can pull it out and kind of change your angle. So now we got a hole. It's kind of full of carrot, but it's hard to get out as of now. So now you'll take your knife again, about an inch down. You'll make a cut, not all the way through. I'm a Boy Scout, so I have intensive knowledge of not cutting myself. So you want to go about a third of the way through, so you can just barely see the blade. And then you'll take your knife again and create kind of sort of a wedge by cutting at an angle. And I'll show you here once I'm done. And you want to go until you can just see a hole that's been made. So there's your wedge, and it's kind of looks, looking like a train whistle. But now, you can blow your carrot out if you want. Okay, gotta get all that stuff out of there. 
And as you can see, there's nothing moving the air, so it'll just sound like nothing. <laughs> so this is when the this is the most difficult part, and this makes and breaks your whole instrument. If it does, if you cannot get this part, the instrument will not work. So you want to find a carrot that perfectly fits. You don't want it to slide in easily, but you don't want to be forcing it through. This is when your big stick comes in handy to push it back out through the hole. So you just want to make sure it fits. This one does. It's a little wet, so it's hard to get out. We'll see here. There we go. I'll dry it off quick, and that'll help too. So now that that's dry, so I made it all the way through. So I'm gonna try it one more time. So you want it just so it comes out a little tiny bit there. If you can see, I know it's kind of far away. So you kind of want to make a small mark with your knife, but it helps if you don't pull it all, or cut it all the way through, you will later. Um, but it's hard to get out then. So I'll find that cut. I'll just cut right there. And you can start by cutting it a little bit bigger than needed. And then you'll make an angle cut. So it kind of splits it in half. And you want to make sure that you don't do it all the way and so there's a little bit of the carrot that's normal still. And that will help to point the air. So now with that little bit that's still straight, you just want to cut the smallest bit off just so you can point the air a little bit. And you just want a little bit through. If you cut it too big, it'll just push the air through. So we'll see here if it works. If not, we'll have to try again. So it's looking like I'm gonna to need to take some more off. So this is basically just trial and error to seeing what will work best. So you push it through again. And I'll, today I'll just show you the basics of how to make it. Um, if I were doing it at my own house, I would take a lot more time to make sure it's right. So it sounds good the first time. So we'll see here. So now it looks like it might be a little bit too much, but I'll just try it for you. If not, we'll just take out one of the ones that works. So this is the point of all truth. And there it is. So now we got some noise. So that's about it. That's how you make a carrot whistle. So now that you got it, this is a great and interesting way to make a carrot and it's so fun. So thank you for listening to my speech. Thank <laughs> you.